Hello my dear friends and my students. Today we start the last part of the chapter Hello Elkin and Hello Rings for the aspect of NEET, J and your board examinations. See the, this part is con uh, actually contains the reactions of Hello Elkins. So reactions of Hello Elkins, there are several reactions for Hello Elkins. These are nucleophilic substitution reaction, reaction with the active metals. Halogen, halogenation reactions, nitration reaction, sulfonation reaction, alkylation and acylation reaction. This alkylation and acylation reaction is also called fiddle craft alkylation and acylation reaction. Okay. So first of all, this is the nucleophilic substitution reaction. Okay. So in the nucleophilic substitution reaction part, the first reaction is substitution by hydroxyl group that is the formation of Phenol. Okay, so this is your chlorobenzene. This is chlorobenzene. When the chlorobenzene treated with the sodium hydroxide at 623 Kelvin temperature and 300 atm pressure, then you get sodium phenoxide. Okay, in benzene you get ONA. This is called sodium phenoxide. And when this sodium phenoxide react with dilute H plus, okay, or dilute H acid. Uh, it really uh, release or uh, remove NaCl and you get phenol as byproduct. So what is the reaction? This is the substitution by hydroxyl group and that is the formation of phenol. And what happened here? Here you have chlorobenzene. When chlorobenzene reacts with the sodium hydroxide followed by treatment with HCl, you get phenol. And here the uh, middle product that is the um, that is called sodium phenoxide. Okay. So this is substitution by hydroxyl group and the second one is the substitution by NH2 group means amino group okay if you substitute uh, this Cl by uh, NH2 group then you get NAD okay this is chlorobenzene and when chlorobenzene react with ammonia in presence of cuprous oxide at 475 Kelvin and 60 atm pressure then you get NAD your main product okay now after that the substitution by cyano group okay so when say you have a bromobenzene this bromobenzene when react with cucn in presence of pyridine at 475 kelvin temperature then you get a cyanobenzene and now this cyanobenzene when react with concentrated hcl or alcoholic hydrogen peroxide then you get a uh, benzamide, benzene ring CuNH2. In benzene ring, you give CuNH2, this is benzamide. And when this cyanobenzene react with dilute HCl or any which, then you get benzoic acid. Okay. And very similarly, when you react uh, this cyanobenzene with uh, uh, lithium aluminum hydro hydride or sodium oblique ethanol, then you get benzyl amine. Okay. So this is the reduction reaction. Okay. This is partial hydrolysis and this is hydrolysis. Okay, means from cyanobenzene you get these different products. See, this reaction also we studied in the reactions of hello alkane part. Okay, from that RCN is there and for, for very similar reaction you get RCUNH2, RCWH and RCH2NH2. Okay, so these are the substitution reactions. So you have to follow these, the, the nucleophilic substitution reaction by presence, uh, in the presence of nucleophile, you get the different products. So from chlorobenzene you will get phenol, and from chlorobenzene you get aniline, and from bromobenzene you get cyanobenzene, and from the cyanobenzene you get different products. So if in a question, someone asks you, how can you convert, how can you convert benzene, benzene to phenol, okay? Benzene to phenol. How can you convert benzene to phenol? Okay. So how can you prepare? You know that, that from chlorobenzene you can prepare phenol. Okay. So now if from benzene, if you prepare uh, chlorobenzene, from chlorobenzene you can prepare phenol by using this process. So how can you prepare chlorobenzene? You just give chlorine in presence of FeCl3, then you get chlorobenzene. Already we studied in the preparation of hello L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L
preparation of hello is for we, uh, we know that how to, if we can prepare that benzene to chlorobenzene and when we get chlorobenzene from that chlorobenzene we prepare phenol so in this way you convert that uh, benzene to phenol so if someone asks you how can you prepare uh, how can you convert benzene to benzoic acid so what you have to do first of all you have to prepare the chlorobenzene and when, when chlorobenzene reacts with cucin you get cyanobenzene and from the cyanobenzene you will get, uh, you know, by a hydrolysis dilute HCl and NaOH then you get benzoic acid so these are the conversions uh, you can uh, remember that these are important conversions if you study uh, that the reactions then you can uh, convert the reaction also okay now see after nucleophilic substitution reaction second uh, next one is the halogenation reaction okay halogenation reaction and uh, halogenation then uh, sulfonation nitration alkylation acylation reactions so see uh, next is the number b or uh, number 2 this is the halogenation reaction okay halogenation reaction so halogenation reaction say you have chlorobenzene and you remember the halide group the x group is ortho and para directing okay ortho and para directing you remember this thing x is ortho and para directing so when uh, means for the halogenation you have to add a, a chlorine atom okay uh, you have to add a chlorine then you uh, get this product cl Cl plus Cl and Cl in presence of anhydrous AlCl3. Okay, so this is uh, from the chlorobenzene you will get ortho and para product because chlorine is the ortho and para directing. And the next one is uh, halogenation. After halogenation, your uh, nitration reaction. Nitration reaction. So in nitration reaction, what you have to do that uh, you you have chlorobenzene and you give uh, HNO3 concentrated concentrated uh, HNO3 and concentrated sulfuric acid H2SO4, then you get uh, ortho and para product. Ortho and para product. This is para, and you remember that among ortho and para, para work, para product is more stable than that of ortho because in ortho there is steric hindrance, and in the para position there is no steric hindrance, so that's why para, uh, para product is more stable than that of ortho. So, this is your nitration reaction, and after that, the sulfonation reaction, okay, sulfonation reaction. So in sulfonation reaction, say you have chlorobenzene and you give H2SO4 and heat this reaction, then you get uh, SO3H plus in para position also you get SO3H. Okay, this is sulfonic acid. Okay, this is uh, ortho chlorosulfonic acid, this is para chlorosulfonic acid, and this is the more stable one than that of ortho. I will discuss why because he has more steric hindrance than that of this. So, this is your sulfonation reaction. So, halogenation, nitration, and sulfonation reaction. And after that, so you just remember that uh, here the chlorobenzene is ortho and para directing. As they are ortho and para directing, so we get the ortho and para product only. Okay, now see after that, number five. Number 5 is acylation and alkylation reaction. Okay, acylation and alkylation reaction. Number 5 is acylation and alkylation. Alkylation reaction. This reaction also called Friedel Craft acylation or alkylation reaction. Say you have chlorobenzene. Chlorobenzene, you react this with CH3Cl in presence of anhydrous AlCl3, then you get two different products uh, or sorry, CH3 plus para product. Okay, this is alkylation, and if you react this chlorobenzene with a CH3COCl, acyl chloride, or you can say ethanoyl chloride. 
in presence of anhydrous AlCl3, then you get uh, Cl here CoCH3 plus Cl CoCH3. So this here also you get ortho and para product. So this reaction also called friedel craft alkylation and acylation reaction. So uh, this is uh, orthochloroacetophenone and this is uh, parachloroacetophenone. So if in a question uh, uh, means uh, uh, question may be like that, how can you convert how can you convert benzene benzene to uh, parachloro parachloro acetophenone? Okay. So here how can you uh, prepare this? So first of all you take benzene. And in benzene, you give chlorine in presence of FeCl3, then you get chlorobenzene. Okay, and when you get chlorobenzene, you give uh, CH3 COCl in presence of anhydrous AlCl3, then you get your desired product COCH3. This is your uh, parachloroacetophenone. So here in this way you can convert the reactions. So here they ask you how can you convert benzene to parachloroacetophenone. So in this uh, by this way you can convert this uh, uh, desired product. See actually if you understand the reactions, all the reactions what we actually uh, uh, means uh, what is given and what we actually uh, uh, know uh, about the reactions and if we know the reagents and uh, all these things, uh, what is the product, then we can convert any uh, conversion what is given either uh, in your in your portion. Okay, so after that, after that, uh, acylation and alkylation reaction, the next one is the reduction reaction. Okay, reduction and reaction with active metals. So next uh, is number six, reduction reaction. Reduction reaction. So this is the reduction reaction. So this is say uh, you have chlorobenzene. When you re, uh, do the reduction with the nickel aluminium alloy in presence of sodium hydroxide, you get benzene. Okay, so this is the reduction reaction, and after that the reaction with active metals so active metals like magnesium lithium sodium and copper so if you do the reaction with magnesium then you get phenyl magnesium bromide in presence of dry ether see if you have the bromobenzene this bromobenzene react with magnesium in presence of dry ether then you get phenyl magnesium bromide this is nothing but your grignard reagent okay this is grignard reagent and after that, when uh, the uh, do the reaction with uh, lithium, you have bromobenzene. And when you react this with lithium in presence of dry ether, then you get this product, okay, uh, phenyl lithium, and then lithium bromide. And after that, when you uh, react this reaction with sodium, then say you uh, have uh, uh, phenyl chloride, okay, or chlorobenzene and react with sodium in and methyl chloride you take then you get toluene as product by uh, as the main product and sodium chloride is the byproduct so this reaction is called barge fitting reaction okay this reaction is called barge fitting reaction so how can you explain that barge fitting reaction you can say that when chlorobenzene react with sodium and uh, uh, sodium and methyl chloride we get toluene as product and this reaction is known as Ward's fitting reaction okay and now see uh, when the chlorobenzene react uh, two molecules of chlorobenzene two molecules see here this is one molecule this is another molecule so two molecules of chlorobenzene react with the sodium and we get biphenyl or diphenyl okay this is biphenyl or diphenyl and this reaction is called fitting reaction okay this reaction is called fitting reaction and after that the reaction with copper powder okay this copper metal and when iodobenzene when iodobenzene react with copper okay and you also get diphenyl and this reaction is called Olmen reaction okay this reaction is called Olmen reaction here you just take the iodobenzene two molecules of iodobenzene react with uh, copper metal okay and you get diphenyl okay as your product so here we see that 
this is your our fitting reaction this is olman reaction and this is bart fitting reaction so if in a uh, in your examination question may be like that write short note on fitting reaction in the uh, in that case you write that it when two molecules of uh, 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 benzene uh, means chlorobenzene react with the sodium a uh, metal we get biphenyl as our product and this reaction is called fitting reaction okay very similarly uh, what is uh, means uh, right short notes on olmen reaction portion are uh, asked uh, like that so in that case you just told that when iodobenzene uh, when two molecules of iodobenzene react with copper and we get diphenyl or biphenyl as our product and this reaction is known as olmen reaction okay so here we uh, understand about the wart fitting reaction about the fitting reaction and about the olmen reaction and these three name reactions are important question may come from these three parts say uh, question may be like that how can you prepare uh, how can you convert chlorobenzene to toluene okay how can you convert chlorobenzene to toluene so in that case you just write this reaction that when chlorobenzene react with sodium and with help chloride we get toluene and this reaction is wart fitting reaction so in the conversion it is not required to write about the wart fitting reaction you know this reaction is wart fitting so you just uh, write the reaction only okay in the conversion part you just write the reaction only okay so these are the reactions uh, from the hello arenes part okay so, so uh, after that what uh, we actually uh, study that uh, some commercial important compounds okay commercially important compounds uh, like ddt okay prions these are very important okay question i do so here are some commercially important compounds so important compounds are dichloromethane trichloromethane iodoform carbon tetrachloride prions and ddt okay so these are some commercially important uh, compounds so first of all that is dichloromethane so here in this thing, what you have to study you have to study the uses of this uh, means uh, these two important compounds uh, what are the uses of these dichloromethane trichloromethane iodoform all these things see in the case of dichloromethane they are generally used for pro, uh, as propellant in aerosols okay and for the case of trichloromethane okay this is nothing but your chloroform so in chloroform if you react this chloroform with oxygen in air or in presence of light then you get cocl2 this cocl2 is called carbonyl chloride or you can say phosgene okay cocl2 is phosgene you remember this reaction so from where you prepare phosgene from chloroform okay from chloroform you prepare phosgene okay so you know how can you prepare chloroform from methane okay so when means when methane react with the three uh, chlorine atom in presence of sunlight then you get a chloroform and after when chloroform react with the oxygen molecule in presence of air or uh, in light in presence of light then you get phosgene okay phosgene means cocl2 is phosgene that is the carbonyl chloride okay and these are generally used as um, anesthetic okay chloroform is generally uh, anesthetic and uh, means any anesthetic uh, uh, in the case of chloroform it uh, has some uh, side effects that's why uh, they are not uh, used uh, uh, nowadays chloroform as anesthetic nowadays chloroform is used as a laboratory reagent also see iodoform yeah, iodoform is generally used as antiseptic okay iodoform is generally used as antiseptic and after that is carbon tetrachloride carbon tetrachloride or ccl4 and they are used as a solvent for oil fats waxes etc okay and after that the freons what is a uh, freons freon are the chlorofluoro compounds of methane and ethane okay chlorofluoro compounds of methane and ethane are called freons so if uh, in your examination uh, question may be like that what is freons then you can say that chlorofluoro compounds of methane and ethane are called freons so how can you prepare from carbon tetrachloride you can prepare freons and this reaction is nothing but the schwartz reaction halogen exchange okay halogen exchange schwartz reaction 
and this Schwartz reaction is the best method for the preparation of means uh, hello alkane. Okay, you remember this. And uh, when also carbon tetrachloride is reacts with HF, and also you get freon. And this is nothing but freon or freon 12. Okay. And after that, most important that is the DDT. Okay, DDT means dichloro diphenyl trichloroethane. Okay, and its IUPAC name is 2,2 bis 4 chlorophenyl. 1,1,1 trichloroethane. See, for the preparation of uh, DDT, we have uh, we required chloral. Okay, this is chloral CCl3CHO. CCl3CHO is chloral, and when chloral, this is actually one mole. Okay, chloral is actually take a uh, one mole, and uh, this is your uh, chlorobenzene. Chlorobenzene take two mole, means two molecules of chlorobenzene. React with one molecule of chloral and you get DDT. Okay, what happened actually? Uh, this water and this hydrogen remove as water and they connect like this. Okay, and this is DDT. Okay, and uh, see uh, in this case, uh, see this is number one carbon and this is number two carbon. And in two carbon, you get uh, four chlorophenyl. This is one, two, three, four. So four chlorophenyl, how many? Two. That's why this. Okay, that's why this. So, uh, uh, means uh, for the complex structure, for complex structure, if there is a complex like uh, that, so in that case, uh, we uh, uh, instead of uh, what we use generally, if we have uh, two branches, three branches, we use diphrine like that. But if the structure is complex, in that case, we, uh, we use bees instead of uh, di, okay, and we use trees instead of tri, okay. And so this is, uh, see here in two position you have 4 chlorophenyl, how many 2, that's why bis. So 2,2 uh, bis, 4 chlorophenyl and in one position you get how many chlorine, 3 chlorine, 1, 2, 3, so uh, 3 chlorine, that's why in one position, in one position and again in the one position you have 3 chlorine, that's why this is trichloro and how many carbon, 2 carbon and there is single bond, that's why it is ethane. Okay, so this is DDT or you can say, uh, uh, dichloro diphenyl trichloroethane and its IUPAC name is 2,2 bis 4 chlorophenyl 1,1,1 trichloroethane. Okay, so one thing there is some mistake that uh, in the halogenation reaction we use actually anhydrous AlCl3, not uh, actually we, we have to use the anhydrous FeCl3. Okay, just like this, you just uh, uh, write down that uh, in uh, uh, halogenation reaction we use anhydrous FeCl3 instead of anhydrous AlCl3 which we discussed in, uh, earlier. Okay, so this is our halogenation reaction actually we discussed earlier. Okay, so these are some commercially important compounds. Okay, and they are uh, what are the uses of these compounds you have to study. They are very important and the, uh, how can you prepare phosgene uh, from chloroform that is important and how can you prepare chloroform, uh, sorry, DDT. This is also important. Okay, this is your chloral. Okay, ccl 3 ch is actually chloral. Okay, so if you like the video, just like it and share it with your friends. Subscribe the channel and also press the bell icon so that you uh, get the notifications of the new video which is coming in this channel. So thank you, thank you very much.